Hello, I'm Dr. Charles Berger, Professor of Medicine and the Medical Director of the Pulmonary Hypertension and Vascular Center at Mayo Clinic in Florida. The Pulmonary Hypertension Center is one of 26 that have been nationally recognized and certified by the Pulmonary Hypertension Association as a comprehensive care center. What exactly does that mean for the patient? Our center emphasizes a team approach where all of the subspecialties that are necessary to get involved in the diagnosis and care of the patient are brought to bear. That includes cardiologists and pulmonologists as well as other subspecialties, even surgeons in certain circumstances. We have over 20 years of experience and specific expertise in this diagnosis and the treatment as well as other important factors that are involved in the management of this complex disease. Why is that important and why Mayo Clinic? The diagnosis is often delayed. You need the various subspecialists and a team approach to do the most appropriate testing to get the diagnosis correct and to determine the best treatment. Our testing involves specialized cardiopulmonary exercise testing, lung imaging, complex cardiac echocardiography, and heart catheterizations, all of which have been refined by our research at Mayo Clinic to make it as efficient and as specific as possible to focus on the diagnosis of pulmonary hypertension. As an example, one cause of pulmonary hypertension is a rare condition referred to as chronic thromboembolic pulmonary hypertension or persistent blood clots in the lung circulation. Pulmonary imaging with expertise from our radiologists is presented to a physician team of specialists across many fields, including pulmonary, cardiology, transplant, critical care, anesthesiology, and radiology, all of which can be brought together at Mayo Clinic for the best review, diagnosis, and determination of the best therapy. And in many cases, it's a surgery called pulmonary thromboendarterectomy. It is a very complex and specialty-driven surgery that requires special expertise and training. We are the only center in Florida offering this procedure to patients. More commonly, however, Pulmonary hypertension is treated with medications, which span a spectrum of oral, inhaled, or infusion therapies. The medications, however, are complex and require approval by insurance and can be a difficult adjustment for the patients and even the providers. Our center assists the patients in the paperwork and the process by which the medications are approved and we, of course, manage the dose adjustments and the side effects as they occur. The infusion therapy is particularly complex and really requires that the patient come to a center such as Mayo Clinic. It involves an infusion pump, similar to that that might be used by a diabetic patient to infuse insulin. It often involves access with an indwelling venous catheter or has to be infused under the skin or subcutaneously. It takes a team such as what we have in the Pulmonary Hypertension Center at Mayo to manage such complex therapy. We work directly with the specialty pharmacies to provide the best care for our patients in this circumstance. Rarely, treatment fails to control the pulmonary hypertension. In that instance, it is especially important to be connected to a pulmonary hypertension center such as what we have at Mayo. We work directly with our lung transplant team to discuss whether transplant might be an option in the patients in whom medications cannot control the disease. It should be noted that our lung transplant program cares for some of the sickest patients in the nation based on national data with excellent outcomes. So this is an important partnership for the physicians who care for patients with pulmonary hypertension. Overall, our team is very dedicated to the care of the patients, but also to education 
and training of the patient's families and their providers. We regularly utilize patient education aids, participate in support groups, and volunteer time to the Pulmonary Hypertension Association, as well as sponsor our own medical education conferences. We are especially committed to advancing the science along with caring for the patients. This has been espoused by Mayo over the years and was addressed even by the Mayo brothers. What does that mean? It is important as you care for patients to participate in research that would translate into improvement in the care. Our center in Jacksonville is focused on refining diagnostic testing and treatment assessment. In addition, we participate in national and international studies of new treatments and registries that contribute a great deal of knowledge to the field. As part of that commitment to research, I am editor-in-chief for a journal called Advances in Pulmonary Hypertension, and I am especially focused on the translation of that research into improved clinical practice. I am proud to say that our team at Mayo is extremely supportive of high quality care, education, and clinical research. If you would like to learn more, please feel free to visit our website to understand more about how the Pulmonary Hypertension Center at Mayo Clinic in Florida can participate in your care.